Hi, I'm Carrie. And I'm Jolyn. And we are the owners of Little Red Mitten in St. Thomas, Ontario. And we are also the dyers behind Leo and Roxy Yarn Co. And uh, welcome to our very first ever podcast. Um, we're not sure what we're going to call it yet, but we'll figure that out and uh, we'll keep you posted. Mm-hmm. Um, the idea behind this podcast is to show our embarrassing number of whips. <laughs> yep. And uh, <clears throat> cast on what we're doing. Yeah, what we're working on, what we're doing. Um, and to reach out to you guys since we haven't been able to have our normal get togethers and knit nights. And yeah, we um, <clears throat> dipped our toes in the Instagram live, and uh, surprisingly, that was a lot easier than what is happening right now. <laughs> this is very, very awkward, but we'll get through it and uh, hopefully it'll become easier. Um, where do you want to start? With our embarrassing number of whips? I think we should start with our whips. Yeah. Okay, so we'll have a big whip parade and then um, maybe it'll give us some accountability to actually finish things. <laughs> Alright, why don't you start? Okay. How should I do this? I've got so um, many. Well, I don't know. I'm just, just gonna ra- randomly grab bags. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what's in there. First of all, oh, yeah, it's in an opal handmade. Yeah. Opal Handmade Exploding Tardis bag. So this is the Ripple Bralette by, <laughs> sorry, it is not ready to be shown, it's a mess. Um, the Ripple Bralette by Jessie May. And yeah, it's it cute. is literally probably a half an hour, 20 minutes away from being done. So that is why it has not been worked on for two weeks because why would I finish anything? But that's our MO. That's exactly. Yeah. Take a project to you take five, it. 90% done and then abandon it. Yeah, so it has the four different cups. So I'm here on the last one and that's all that needs to be done. And then they need to be joined and ends woven in. And then you're gonna wear it to work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> With a jean jacket. Okay. And a shirt over top. <laughs> It's cute. What yarn are you using? Um, this is Leo and Roxy 8020 Worsted. Um, this one was our LYS Day colorway 2019? 2018. Um, 2019, I think. Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah, so this was 2019. Um, and the purple is Omen. Yeah. It's cute. I like it. We've actually made more progress than. I thought maybe. <laughs> I haven't touched it in a while. It's pretty. It's a pretty quick knit, and yeah. So this one probably should be in my priority to finish because it really doesn't have that much time on it. Yeah. So. All right. So um, this bag that's working pretty hard is um, a zigzag stitches bag. Uh, Catherine is somewhat local to us. She's out of Sarnia, and uh, we carry some of her bags in our store. Um, what is living inside? The, oh, this is my Stephen West um, Enchanted Mesa uh, sweater. Um, we started this at Sticks and Stones in North Bay last November with um, Jessica Hendry and Allison Hendry. And um, yeah, mine's still not finished, but it's coming along. The body's almost done. I'm down to the brioche on the body. And I am doing this in Leo and Roxy, um, our Advent mini skein kits. Um, yeah, um, there's no rhyme or reason. I'm just, as I run out, I pick up, or if I get bored with a color, I pick up another color. So I'm quite happy with it. I like it. I'm liking how it, it fits. I, um, I didn't know about this whole sleeve situation. Yeah, but I, I asymmetrical. Think, yeah, it's... Um, it's basically the dotted rays. Yeah, he, he um, designed the dotted rays shawl first, um, and so this upper part is it's basically a shawl that sleeves have been attached to. Yeah. And uh, it's got a big cowl, so it should be a warm sweater. It's a uh, fingering held double. So that's that. <clears throat> Since you showed that one, I should show mine. Mm. Yeah. Let's see if I chose the right thing. I did. So, 
my enchanted Mesa is in a J. Hendry bag. Um, kittens and flowers. It's cute. So yeah, again, we started this. Oh, there's, run money. Away. there's money in here. <clears throat> we started this last November. Oh, we were up visiting Ray at Sticks and Stones. So I think Carrie's a little further along than me now because I've kind of abandoned mine. I am not in the worst of in weight. the brioche. Yeah, you've got a little bit to go. Yeah. It's good. Yours is so much softer. So mine's soft. Oh, I think mine might have. Is it the MCS? Mine might have MCS as the as the. Hmm. <laughs> The one that you're holding constantly? I the think Meredith? So. Yeah, I think my Meredith might be an MCS. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and you're holding the uh, Harry Potter or advent. Harry Potter advent from last year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this will ever get finished. We'll see. <laughs> well, we have to because that's become a tradition with Jess to, uh, to wear hers to our Sticks and Stones trunk show, right? Holy <laughs> Hannah! I, okay, what so last time, I, last time I showed this, I knew there was change in the bottom of here, and I picked it up again, and there's change. I just found actual money, like real money. Like a lot, like like $70. Nice. Okay. We can go out for lunch. <laughs> so, you know, awesome. it's like picking up your old winter jacket and finding yeah. money in the pocket, apparently, if you let your project bag sit around too long. <laughs> happens as well um this was this bag is also opal handmade i got it for my birthday i'm a big alice in wonderland fan um and what is living in here ah yes so this is the um europe european road trip shawl and i cast this on after watching uh Codependent Knitters and Lisa um, had made one and then she had started another one again. And what prompted me was that she was using the uh, Holstgarn Coast and I remembered that I had some of this upstairs in my stash. So I thought, oh, I'm gonna cast this on. It's a nice, easy project. Well, it's a lot of stockinette. That's all right. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll get it done at some point. <laughs> Okay, my next project is in a, another zigzag stitches bag. Um, and this is, um, what's the name of this sweater? Big in Japan? Yeah, Big in Japan. Big in Japan, it's a t-shirt. Um, so great. It is 100% silk. It's two different silk yarns held together. Um, LRA Rustic Silk and Silk. Do you look for me? Oh, it's not the tassel. No. 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 So, yeah, this one I had cast off and I didn't like how short it was, so I had to rip back and uh, I haven't started making it again. But it needs a few more inches. Alright, this next one. Oh, this is a zigzag heavy. <laughs> this is a zigzag uh, stitches podca uh, podcast. No bag. Bag, thank you. <laughs> And what is inside here? Oh yeah, this is the Breathe and Hope Shawl by Casapenka. And uh, we started this, this was LYS Day, right? LYS Day, did Casapenka put yeah, this? back in April. Yeah. Um, so I am knitting this out of um, Hedgehog Fibers Skinny Single in um, Sari and Olin in tangerine, I think it's called. Um, they're both singles, both Irish dyers. That's fun. And um, yeah, I haven't really worked on this a lot, but that's where I'm at with this one. Um, not a huge amount of contrast, but I'm I'm happy with it. It's good. I like it. And it's a big boomerang uh, shape shawl. I don't know what section I'm on, but I'm sad. 
I'm on like a third of the way done. All right, Aww. again. Uh, another Jay Hendry bag with puppies on it. And I got this because they look like my puppies. So this one looks like my Molly. Is there a better one of that one? This one here looks like Oliver. And this one here looks like Bella. <laughs> oh, yep. So this is another Stephen West design that I Ooh. started last spring summer. It's called the Parachute. <laughs> it's a sweater. Big doll. oversized tank top. Oh, okay. Of. Is this a song feature? Yes. Yes. Okay. Cool. No. Oh, that's nice. I like it. Just holding it together. So I'm working down the back now. And yeah, it's fingering weight, so it's going to take a while. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is this? This is living in a, a sweat bag, my uh, alpaca my bag. And this is a Jane Richmond sweater um, that I'm, it's a Coechin. Coechin? Is that how you say it properly? I think so. Uh, and I'm knitting it out of uh, Briggs and Little um, roving. And I do really like this. Uh, I just can't work on it right in the summertime because it's a little heavy to work on, but uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with it. And it's tricky doing color work on this size needle. It's like a size eight, nine, nine millimeter. Nine millimeter. It's really hard on your hands doing color work on a nine millimeter needle. So that's that. So that'll have to wait until deep fall for me to resume that. Oh, this is your Cuba project. This was my Cuba project back in February. The V-Back Tea by Jamie Hoffman. <laughs> <sighs> so I started this to take to Cuba with me and I worked on it on the plane and while I was there and then basically haven't touched it again since. I love this, I love the colors. Do you remember? Um, I remember some of them. So this one is a fleece artist um, colorway that's um, Kate Breton Tartan, and it's a custom colorway for Bedeck Yarns in Bedeck, Nova Scotia. And I picked that up there a couple years ago. This is, <laughs> I do know. Um, Shirley Bryan yarns. Oh, there we go. I don't know which colorway, but it's Shirley Bryan yarns. This is Leo and Roxy. This one actually has its tag. I think it was a. I think this was a sock club. February 2019 sock club. So that one's that, and this one I do not remember. We're having problems with the focus. There's that, and there's the V part for the V back. That was nice. And it's summer, so I really should get it done because mm -hmm. it is a t shirt, but it would be good. This is in one of Sophie's bags, Dolphina. Um, she actually made this for me custom because I bought this fabric, the toucan fabric. And uh, really wanted a bag out of it so I sent her the material or I brought it to her at one of our shows or something and she sent me back with these bags so I have a couple of them um, this is this is a super scrappy blanket oh yeah it's a granny stripe my granny stripe <laughs> I really like this. This is uh, just all sorts of scraps and I think I'm working on it lengthwise so it'll go wider and uh, 
that'll probably never get finished, but it's okay. <laughs> That's what whips are all about, right? Yeah. That's a big J. Hendry bag. Another J. Hendry bag. And this one is holding my throwback cardigan from Andrea Mallory. Yeah. This I started in November um, 2018. Again, when we were up at um, North Bay for Sticks and Stones. At Sticks and Stones Trunk Show in North Bay with yeah. Ray and Jess and Allison were there. And uh, sorry. Um, yeah, so I got this done past the color work section and past the arm pass off probably within a week. And then I promptly stopped from about two inches past separating the sleeves and now it's just plain knitting all the way down the body. And you're doing that in Harrisville? This is Harrisville Highland, so they're worsted weight. It's beautiful, the fleck. It's just, I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but it's... Um, yeah, all their yarns are quite heathered. Yeah, gorgeous. really nice. Good. This little, the mystery project is in my fringe, fringe supply coat field bag. I love this bag. Um, oh, look, it's another blanket. This is uh, North, North Easterly. North Easterly. And that was a, a whim cast on and- uh, Not that long ago. You can't no, since we've been in lockdown. That's that, that's all I got. That's all I got. So don't even have anything to say about it. It's just all scraps. All scraps. I love scrappy blankets, as you'll see in a moment. Maybe I can skip to that. Open this one first. Don't mind the crinkling. This was my first scrappy blanket that I cast on in 2009. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> 2009. It's an old so it's not very big. Isn't it, it awesome? <laughs> it is awesome. <laughs> yeah, so this is absolutely, I love it. It is truly scrappy. Um, it's all sock yarn scraps, some mine, some that people gave me. Um, and yeah, yeah that's, it's gorgeous. You know, an 11 year project and it's not very big, but <laughs> I love it. Oh yeah, there's my needles. I'm using 2.75 millimeter needles, and Beautiful. this will be a lifetime project. So, yeah, and give it to your grandkids. There you go. Um, I'm gonna show another one right okay. now too, because when you have an 11 year old, or at the time it was probably nine years old, blanket, and you do a scrappy blanket knit along with people, you start a new one instead <laughs> of finishing the one you got started. So That's it's the roll. exact same idea. It's the mitered squared um, scrappy blanket, except for I did bigger squares because I'm holding I'm holding the yarn double. So I'm holding a gray with all my scrappy stuff. So this one was started, this wasn't last spring, right? It was the spring before. Um, oh no, it was last spring. Yeah, 2019. Yeah, we did a scrappy blanket knit along. Some of the people who joined us for that actually finished full blankets. Go figure. Yeah. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not right, actually. Yeah. yeah, when I was packing up to uh, to come and record this, um, my husband had to carry my <laughs> basket of whips to the car, and he was shocked. Uh, he Said it shouldn't be a whip video it should be a walk of shame video <laughs> so uh no shame no shame <laughs> oh i can never remember I don't know. van dyke I think so. this is a van dyke um project bag that i picked up at um PC, pc um a couple of years ago first time i went two or three years ago 
and AC is a is oh, Prince wait. Edward County Yarn Festival. Yeah, Fiber Festival. And this is a this is a unicorn. This is a unicorn. <laughs> this is uh, a self striping yarn that JoLynn dyed when we first started, uh, Leo and Roxy, and um, yeah, I don't do self striping too often. No, and. I have no idea what pattern this is, but it's definitely a shorty, and that is not very far, but <laughs> that's been going for quite time, a long time. Maybe little Mickey Mouse here. Okay. What is in here? Oh, look. Another J. Henry day. <laughs> This oh, is my so bizarre. Another blanket. <laughs> Another blanket. This one I'm not doing scrappy. This one is the yarn that's doing all the color changes. Um, it is my granny stripe. I'm just going to keep it folded in half because it's huge. So it is my granny stripe blanket. And it is pretty, it's well on its way. Oh, yeah. So. And this is done in Noro. This is done in Noro Silk Garden Sock. Oh. And it feels really yummy. Yeah. It is not your grandma's 70s afternoon. No, but it does look like that. I, it does, I yeah. chose the colors based on that kind of 70s yeah. afghan kind of look. But it has silk in it, so it feels pretty good. Good, good. Um, what else? This little bag is um, something that I picked up at Unit in Toronto. And uh, it was a collective. It's like a fair trade. Yeah, I can't uh, remember exactly what the details were, yeah. but fair trade, fair wages for women. Um, that's cute. It's got little birds in cages. It's so cute. I love this little bag. We'll get more into uh, all of our outside of here life with our animals and oh, in yeah. in episodes to come. Um, this is. Uh, this is the <laughs> this is a um, a pattern from the fifty two weeks of socks book that came out in the spring. Maybe? Yeah, and then yeah, March or something. Yeah, and I'm using um, Allegria, Manos Allegria. Can't remember the colorway. I bought this because it came in and I accidentally cut instead of cutting a choke, I cut one of the strands. So consider that sold. And um, it's the first really heavily patterned sock that I've ever done, and it's a nightmare. Uh, <laughs> it's, I don't know, I don't think I have the attention span for this heavily patterned sock, but um, it's really tiny, but it does fit, it stretches quite a bit. I don't know, if I'm feeling uh, courageous, I may pick it up and finish it at some point, but it's a lot of brain power that I don't necessarily have all the time. Oh, this is a relatively new um, acquisition. The bag? Yeah. 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 This is another J. Hendry bag <laughs> um, that I ordered, I don't know, maybe a month or two ago. Um, not very long. But, yeah. And then what's inside is not very thrilling. It is a dishcloth. <laughs> That's it. Cute. Not much to say about it. That granny style dishcloth that you can find a thousand patterns for. It's done in the um, Estelle Suds. Yeah, this is spray. Yeah. It's nice. I like working with it. I, I don't know. I'd argue that I prefer it over the sugar and cream. But um yeah it's dishcloth cotton so. yeah oh this is bling your string bag <laughs> i i don't know where i got this but again it's alice i love alice look at all those cute little markers um right this is a tube that got cranked for me and i actually i've misplaced the ball band for it but it's in an Alice in Wonderland bag, so I'm thinking it the colorway is uh, We're all mad here? Yeah, I think, I think so. 
And I'm just doing some little shorties with just some undyed. What's happening here? Oh, I've, I've clearly finished this sock. <laughs> <laughs> that scared me for a second. Like, why is my needle? So anyways, just a little shorty, um, afterthought heel and toe. And uh, that's it. Oh, I guess I've got the cuff done on this one. So I'm just I'm gonna be able to get two pairs out of that too. I might be, yeah. I've got, uh, like Carrie said, this is a tube that was cranked. Um, and I just I have my cuff toe and the heels are done. Just needs to be kitchenered there on the first one. And then the second one just needs the heel placed in it. What yarn was this? This is Leo and Roxy. Oh, self striping. Another unicorn. Yeah. Nice. I have no idea how to say atelier. I think so, yeah. Atelier. Yeah, it's Calgary Maker, I think. Edmonton. Alberta. Alberta. It's an Alberta <laughs> Maker. Um, this is uh, Tin Can Knits. Compass, perhaps? I think so. It's the compass pattern. Um, I'm making it out of Katia, Seta Tweed. Yes, Seta Tweed. And Leon Roxy. Leon Roxy, Leo, this undyed base. And uh, yeah, I was really into doing yolks in January and February. So that's what, that's what I do. I do a yolk and then leave it. This one quickly is a sock made out of Leo and Roxy Overjoy. Um, the pattern is just held double. Yeah. The pattern is just my own in my head. And it might get a twin someday. So I guess this is a hoe. Ho. <laughs> Do you have another one in there? I have a different one. Okay, cool. You want me to? Yeah. This is a pair of socks. I've got one finished. Oh, so close. Yeah. You're very so close. close. This probably should move up priority just to be it's done. Good done. Um, I think it's a Lang yarn, the Wave. Mm. Lang yarn. It feels pretty good. Feels like it would wear well. Yeah. Yeah, it yeah. feels similar to like Regia or Opal. Yeah, idea. And yeah, it's sturdy. Almost Ouch. done. Um, Jay Hendry bag. Love this one. Oh, this is another blanket. This is uh, Persian Tiles by Janie Crow. She's a uh, British UK. Um, crochet designer and it's a bunch of medallions that are put together with triangles and hexagons and uh, so I'm trying to I don't know why I can never remember this word assembly line assembly line yeah okay so um, anyways just going through all of my colors I think I'm using is it 20 I don't think it's that many maybe 15 or 18 colors um, and there is method to my madness for the color repeats I'm starting to repeat the colors the centers are coming into the borders and uh, oh yeah this one I jumped ahead because I wanted to this is attached to something so I think this is the last round before I start working on the little corner pieces um, so I'm quite happy with this. This has been going on for two years now, I think. Year and a half. I think I started in December of 2018. And uh, yeah, it's a lot, lots of fun. It's going to be colorful. I'm really getting into the crochet. I actually really like it. Another sock. Um, looks like I'm on the heel flap. This is um, another one of my self-striping colorways. It's just a two-color stripe. I really like it. It's not done on our base. This was from before, just when I was practicing and trying stuff. So 
though it's not quite as soft as the maybe Ooh. close to as soft. Like did you is it on brakes or something? It's on um oh I forget. It's mm -hmm. really it's quite rustic. Yeah. Yeah. But That's I would great. love to dye this colorway again. I think it's so cute with mm -hmm. the speckle, the speckle stripe and the solid. Anyway. I think so. I'm on the heel flap. First yeah. sock. I think if we ever do, we, it's a loose term, <laughs> if Jolyn ever does uh, self striping, it'll be an exclusive oh, on yeah. our website. It's, it'll be just a one off every once in a while. Yeah. We so admire self stripers that that's their, that's their gig and they've picked their lane and uh, there's so yeah. many great ones out there. The scope and timber and there's tons of them um yeah we admire you no kidding. um so this is this is my last whip that's been stored it's a stored whip oh deep you, still whips? Your, you still have your active ones i have my active ones okay. so this is a deep whip it is uh we picked this up at i picked this up at tnna it's um blue sky fibers worsted it's their cotton um, it's really nice to work with. It was just a kit, came in this little bag, and uh, it's just straight garter, and uh, it feels fantastic. Mm -hmm. and it's just really subtle. Um, and I can't remember what the pattern is. It's like 18 rows of garter for each color. But it's nice. I thought it would be really nice with uh, like just to wear in the fall with a jean jacket or something. Um, yeah, that's it. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's got a story behind it, this yarn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is, um, this sock is made out of Turtle Pearls yarn. Um, and we picked it up at the Knitting Loft. Yeah. Any idea what the date was on that? Are we talking well, like knit fall 2018? Or? I don't. They opened in yeah. September of 2018, I believe. Yeah. So maybe it was in the new year of 2019. Yeah. So maybe. Um, anyway, we picked we picked this up and I cast it on there while we were sitting there hanging out. And yeah, I actually finished a sock pretty quickly um, for me because I can't focus on one for any amount of time. So I finished this sock and could not find the other skein to make the second sock. Like it was MIA for a long time. It was time. totally missing. I'm like, yeah. I don't, had no idea what I did with it. Oh, the colorway is Bazinga. Um, so Sheldon. Yeah. Um, that's a great. Bang theory. And that's what I found. The skein. Yay. So, um, I think it was last time we kind of we went through our whips a few weeks ago and did this on a live so we are doing it again for you guys because only a few people got to see it so um, when I was pulling out all the whips to get together for that I found it I had put it together with other yarn that were for works in progress and she it. tried to get organized yeah yeah I put Better it somewhere I put it somewhere safe yeah so, <laughs> Got it. Oh, I had another one of these bags. I didn't talk about these ones. These ones are Mad Bird. I don't know if she's still making bags, um, but They're I great. really love them. I've got. I love how at least two wide. Yeah, it opens open up nice. Air. It doesn't have. Um, it has a little bit of something in there. It has like a light interfacing in it. Yeah, a light interfacing, but it's really very light. light. So this. Yeah. This is my other one with the poppies on it. Yeah, those are nice bags. Um, okay, I'm into uh, heavy rotation whips, of which I have three or four. So, J. Henry Bag, uh, you guys have to go and check her out. She's amazing. We do carry a number of her bags in the store, but um, yeah, go and check her out. It's great. This is a new acquisition for me. This is um, Area 51 Fibers. <laughs> Area 51, I believe she's from Regina. Does not say that anything. Uh, it's called Speckle Me. It's a rainbow. And uh, 
I'm really loving it. Actually, I got super excited last night because, because it's starting to flip. Do you see it? It's flipping. I'm at the halfway point. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. So that's exciting. And it's, um, what sold me on it, it's a 30 stripe repeat. repeat. So that just impresses me. So it's like, oh yeah, I gotta check this out. Yeah. So um, that's that. Of course, I passed it on the moment I got it in the mail. So that was very nice. And I don't know her name. I started following her on Instagram, but um... hi. Uh, I also got this one. It's again her sturdy alien base, and this one is called Beach Huts. And I think she threw this in, which was really kind of her. To, uh, for heels and toes, so I'm excited to cast that on, but I'm gonna hold off to get my other wits under control, maybe. It's just in a Leo and Roxy again, cotton tote. Because it's holding a project of that yarn. So, oh. it's backwards. It's just called Honey, a shawl by Andrea Mowry, and I'm holding our organic wool cotton worsted weight with mohair, and it is fantabulous. It's absolutely <laughs> lovely. Yeah, I really should yeah, focus on it and get it done, but it's probably a little too warm. It might be warm. Now. So, yeah. yeah. Excellent. Uh, what is this? Oh, yeah. Again, J. Hendry bag. This is embarrassing. <laughs> we love J. Hendry's bags. Um, this is a fairly new pattern. Yeah. It is, um, oh, how many of the name? Rocket Tea. Rocket Tea by Tannis. Lavalu. Lovely. By Tannis. By Tannis. Of Tannis Fiber. Yep. Sorry for butchering that name. Um, I'm doing this in Rowan Silky Lace. I think that's what it is. Instead of the mohair, holding it single. And uh, Tussa Tweed, which is a BC Garn yarn. Uh, oh, I'm so close to being finished this. I've got three more stripes to do on the body and then to do the um, eye cord bind off. Hi, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so that's super close. I should just probably focus on that. I made the mistake of timing myself on how long it took to do an entire stripe. Oh, yeah. And I thought it took like eh, three minutes around or something. It's like 12 minutes around for some reason to do around. And you have hundreds of stitches on there. I know. <laughs> never, never time yourself. It's a big, uh, it's a bummer. So, yeah, that's that. Super close to being done. Oh, this is in here. Maybe I should shout this out. This is the little um, dangly thing. <laughs> it's a little dangly rainbow. It's an, like an air freshener. Yeah, it's got a little lava bead on here yeah. that you can put essential oils on. And it is by um, Cotton Colored. And um, this is the local maker to us. Yeah, you can find her on Instagram. She does a lot of stuff for like babies' rooms and mm -hmm. um, yeah, super cute. Really cute. Anyways, that was hiding in my bag, so I thought I'd share that. Caitlin. It's Caitlin. Okay. Yeah. This is Caitlin. This is a hoe. One sock finished. Um, in Leo and Roxy. We haven't released this yarn yet. We will be shortly. So this is our marled sock yarn. One then I have not cast on the second one yet. Okay, feels great. It feels really good. Looks nice. I think somebody should do the new um, weekend. Andrea Mowry weekend weekend light. The weekender in the fingering weight. Yeah. Yeah. In this. Awesome. Yeah. 
Um, this is a Mad Bags project bag. It's a local maker, local in St. Thomas. Um, I don't know if she's... London, yeah. Oh, she's in London? Oh my gosh, she's in St. Thomas. Uh, we do sell them in store. I don't know if she's online. I don't know. But anyways, really cute bags. Nicely made. Um, and then this... I've been really working on this a lot. This is um, a pattern. Uh, Tony, I don't know what Tony's last name is. Uh, she is TL Yarn Crafts. She's in Ohio. And this is called the Rebel Cami. And then I am doing this in, uh, crocheting this in, um, Milo, Manos Milo. It's a, a wool linen blend. And this is the front. Oh, wow. I don't know if you can see that. So um, it's just single crochet. It's kind of cool construction. It's that's just a placeholder for uh, the I cord, basically foundation chain. I guess that I haven't learned how to do yet, but I guess I will soon, very shortly. Um, so an uh, eye cord or foundation chain goes through there. It's worn quite high on the neck with a top underneath <laughs> and it's single crochet. And then this is um, a bobble stitch, which is, I don't know. I'm just learning all the crochet things. So it's like a treble or something like that in a row of singles. So it makes it pop out a bit. And then the back, is just single crochet again the placeholder for the foundation you tie it at the back and it's just straight uh, single crochet to length and then apparently you finish it off with something called clam stitch around the bottom or it's optional and so i i just have a placeholder on here just to, i don't know if i'm at length that i want but i'm excited about this mm -hmm. crochet is so fast yeah it's so fast i started this last Thursday I think yeah it had to it's be. ridiculous yeah and that's it those are my heavy rotational whips um so that's funny uh, Carrie ended hers with one out of Milo and mine's out of Milo and I think we cast on the same day because yeah we both looked at the Milo and thought this is been sitting here we haven't tried it time to start something new so um this is the rift it's just called, the pattern's called Rift. It's a short sleeve cropped tee. And yeah, it starts bottom up. It's got a high low hem. And yeah, a little bit of detail going up the sides with some twisted. Mm, that's nice. It's a really nice yeah. detail. Twisted rib, one by one rib. That's gonna go up the sides. Um, I'm always amazed at the difference in the fabric. With the size needles or hooks or yeah, what like you're doing this with it, it feels softer. Oh my god, it's feels beautiful. Soft. Like feel. Oh yeah, yeah. Just the texture of the stitches and the weight that the fabric produces is... in crochet, and this is just so light and airy. Well, it's a five millimeter needle too. Yeah. For like a sport weight, DK weight yeah. yarn, so it's nice, nice it's and airy and soft um, this pattern has so many sizes it's great mm -hmm. um, it also has um, instructions for uh, breast starts if you need them and helps you breast with... starts is that not right <laughs> no <laughs> just uh, the one i heard <laughs> it's breast breast darts isn't, that, isn't, like that, isn't, that, isn't that what i said yeah that is what you said okay, it's good. just my ear heard something different <laughs> yeah darts and explains to you if if you need them by your, taking your measurements and, and seeing. It also has um, customizable bicep um, sizes, which I always adjust my patterns. I know how to adjust my patterns, um, you know, to have the body size I want and then a different arm size. So this one explaining that and showing you how to do that is awesome for people who aren't capable of um, 
figuring that out because mm -hmm. yeah if you have bigger arms than the size you want to make you end up making a bigger sweater and having a big baggy mm -hmm. sweater that you don't absolutely want so and what you were saying with the bust darts <laughs> um because it's such a boxy tee Oh, but it's got the lower back. You were explaining to me about that. Yeah, so it's got, so when you have a bigger bust, um, it naturally brings up the front of your sweater because of the size of your bust. So it gives you a high-low look anyway. So if you're, with this one, if you have a really big bust, then it will be a little bit more dramatic because you already have it lower in the back. Mm -hmm. But um, but it also is forgiving if you're just kind of in between there, you can you don't have to add them. So I haven't decided if I'm adding them yet or not. It will, I haven't, I didn't want to look that far ahead and make that much of a decision. I mm -hmm. just wanted to cast on and get started. So yeah, it is started. That's good. So, um, what else? I guess the last thing is I swatched last night. Um, from Full Moon Fibers, we purchased sweater. <laughs> we purchased sweater quantities of uh, Full Moon Fibers Moon Rock Slub. Mine is in the colorway Lagoon, and uh, I caked up a couple. I'm loving this. I swatched last night, and I haven't measured it, so I don't know if my this is 3.75 um, that's the knit side but I don't know if you can see this but on the pearl side I really like it on the pearl side the, mm -hmm. it seems like all the slugs came to the pearl side so now um, I've been in my mind thinking about patterns to use for this um, I had downloaded um, Hoagie's basic raglan but then I, when I went to look at it last night, it's actually a DK yarn. I don't oh, know okay. what possessed yeah. me to think that I could use that. But anyways, so then um, uh, I looked at Andrea Mowry's So Faded, her pullover, Faded Pullover. Yeah. One of her faded things. So I thought, okay, well, that'd be I nice. So faded. Um, I thought that would be nice. I just want a, re a really plain sweater so that the yarn does all the talking. And it has hers has a nice garter detail on the shoulder, so I thought that would be nice. But then after I knit this up and I saw the pearl side of it, I think I might do her comfy faded cardigan, where you knit it right side but you wear it yeah. wrong side. So I think that's where I might go. Do you have enough yardage? Isn't the Comfort Faded Cardigan DK as well? Oh, for goodness sake, are you kidding me? You just, you didn't swear. Good job. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure it's fingering. I'm almost certain it's DK. Okay. Well, then I'm going to put this out to our <laughs> non-existent beavers yeah. at this point. Um, maybe tell me. Tell me of a good... Um, pattern that I could use for this sweater. I think I really want something with the pearl side out. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me know if there's something that you know of that I don't. Um, it's not like I scour Ravelry all the time, but um, I just kind of know the big designers and those are my go-tos. So if you know of something, let me know, because that could be fun. Oh, you swatched too. I did, I pulled it off the needles, but okay. I did swatch. I swatched with mine double. Um, oh, because I kind of had the idea that I wanted to do I thought about doing that rift, the rift card uh, sweater yeah. and stuff, but I'm not sure what I'm going to make either, so I'll be watching for suggestions as well. So I just have this little tiny swatch, there's the stockinette side, and they are held double, and I think maybe on five millimeter tips. Are you going to more yarn? If you hold it double? If I hold it double, but yeah. I don't know that that's what I want to do, so that's why I I didn't finish this watch, I just yeah. pulled it out. But yeah, so this is Good. the colorway I got, which is Grotto. Oh, that's nice. And I've got five skeins of it. So yeah, I, my original mm. thought was like a open cardigan. Um, 
now the week the lightweight weekender is out. Mm -hmm. and that one's girl side out. Yeah. Um, I think you will lose that accent up the front, that yeah. slip stitch. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, oh well. Oh well. We'll see. Very good. All right. So um, I don't know if we. That was a lot longer. We under underestimated the time that our whip parade would take. So mm -hmm. we'll probably wrap that up for now. And um, thanks for watching this. Um, we would really love it if you subscribed yes. to our channel. That would be good. I think that this is for someone to subscribe. <laughs> Down below. I don't know. <laughs> or up there. Or, or up there. <laughs> so, um, or over in the doobly doo. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think that's about it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, we got through it. Okay, see we'll ya. see you next time. Bye. Bye.